Hi guys, I am Kosi by name. Just in case it's the first time coming across my video, please do well to subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you'll be always be notified whenever new video drops. On today's video, I'm going to share with you guys on how to make this simple skirt you are seeing right here. It's a simple skirt with a flay attached, as you all can see. It also has band, and this is a carrier fabric you get, and it also has zip at the back. So, guys, but this is my own that I'm about to share with you guys right here. It's not gonna have zip at the back because it's a dread fabric. I don't, uh, I'm not using a carrier for this particular tutorial. As you can see, this is where I used to make this. This is an inspiration, and I made this one with my own beautiful fabric. So, guys, if this sounds like something you're interested to know, definitely works. Keep on watching, and let's get into today's video. So, guys, I went ahead to fold my fabric by two, and for my skirt length, it's 21 inches length. So, I removed six inches because you're gonna have to lay out the damp parts. So what I did was that I added extra one inch because if I remove um six inch from twenty one inches, it's going to be fifteen inches left. So I added one inches for the seam allowance. That is why I'm marking this sixteen inches. So see me marking like this. So on the waistline, I came down by one inches because it's gonna have band. Mm -hmm. We are going to have band. I'm going to add band. Sorry, on my skates, on the waistline. So guys, I will just extend it with my ruler. Then after doing this, I am going to divide my waist measurements by 4. I will add 1 inches for the seam allowance. And I will divide my hip measurement by 4. I will add 1 inch for the seam allowance. Don't be surprised. This fabric stretch a lot. It's a stretch fabric. That's why I added only 1 inch. It stretch a lot. So if you are working with a stretch fabric, just add 1 inches. And as a matter of fact, it's not going to have zipper. There won't be any zipper at the back. You get because it's a stretch fabric it stretches a lot so go ahead and do yours like that if it's a stretch fabric but if it's not a stretch fabric uh, if it was if it's a um, Ankara fabric or African print go ahead and add normal um, same allowance and go ahead and also add your zipper you get so you're going to um, make a pencil curve on this damp part after you've gotten your hip measurements and the allowance go ahead and um, make a curve pencil you get so it's going to give you that shape at uh, maybe at your new point you get so what i did now is to place this front piece on another fabric like this i'm going to cut out the back piece as you can see there is no zipper at all there is no zipper so i'm going to go ahead and cut exactly what i have on the front piece So guys, after I was done, I went ahead to divide my nipple to nipple by two. That is, mine is always three and a half, and I marked it, and I removed um half inch from the both side. I have to go ahead and notch it. This is for that you get. So to get your that, just um divide your bust palm or your nipple to nipple by two. Then mark it and give half an inch on the both side. Then notch it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Then after doing this, I'm going to keep this aside, the two piece you get, I'm going to keep it aside, then I'll just place a small fabric, then I'll measure what I have there. As you can see, you're going to just um, cut out your waist measurements. Mm -hmm. I am going to cut this thing too, I'm going to cut two pieces of it, one for the back and uh, the other one for the front so because i removed one inches i went ahead to mark 2.5 inches because we are going to fold it before attaching it to our skates you get on the upper part so guys what i'm going to do next is to place another fabric to cut 
the second piece like this So guys, as you can see, um, I was managing my fabric as you can see, so I just um, added half inch on this side, this side is semi-cutting now, I added half inch because I'm going to stitch it, you get, I'm going to join it and make a stitch, then uh, it's now going to give us a long piece like this, can you see, so I'll place this aside, right now I just folded this fabric by two. I want to go ahead and cut out a flay. You get. I'm going to go ahead and cut out a flay like this. So what I have there is 19 inches length. Then the wideness is like um, my wideness is 15 inches. So I already went ahead to fold it by two. Then just fold it in triangular shape. Fold it again to give you eight piece you get like it is now it's eight piece mm -hmm. so what i did was that i divided my hip measurements by eight and by eight is 4.5 inches so i marked it there and from this this upper part i measured from that part to where i marked 4.5 inches and uh, it gave me the length i have there then i went ahead to start making a Point with that length then I came down here and I added um, half one inch for the folding allowance that is the six inches we removed from the skirts I added it back here and I added extra one inches that is the total of seven inches you get so we are going to fold half inches after fixing the flay on the skirt on the down part of our skirt then we are going to use the other remaining of the half inch to work to fix the flay on the skirt particularly so i'm just going to go ahead to cut it off i hope you understand what i'm saying if you don't understand what i'm saying just um look at what i'm doing so you understand better As you can see I got exactly my hip measurements and uh, remember to add one inch for your seam allowance because it's going to have join. I'm going to join it and fix it. This is how it's going to be like. I'll place the flay on the down part and this band will be on the upper part. Can you see? This is what I meant. So guys what I'm doing now is that I want to go ahead and make my dad so i'm going to use the length of five inches i'll use half inches to join my band then i'll leave 4.5 inches left you get so i'm going to make this dot as you can see i went ahead to make my dad both the front and the back piece as you can see so guys what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to go ahead and fix my band hmm? I'm going to first of all fix my band before any other thing. Well, on this um, at this junction, it's either you decide to fix your band separately or you shape your your skirt first then fix your band anyhow you choose to do it it's totally fine i choose to do mine like this so go ahead and do yours anyhow you would love to do it so guys this is it i went ahead to fix my band as you can see both the front and the back piece already fixed so i'm going to go ahead and use my pin to hold these two in place like this making sure they are equal then I'm going to just have to retake my measurements again. So 
so guys what i will do right now after pinning this is that i am going to right now divide my waist measurement by two mm? you know when we were cutting we divided it by four but right now we are going to divide it by two mm? i divided it by two and uh, i got what i'm marking here then i did the same thing at the hip I just marked um, the one inches I removed earlier. But note that once you are working with a stretch fabric, you are going to need to shape your your skirt or any dress you make because sometimes it doesn't really come out that hog. You are just going to have to mend it. Can you see? So make sure at this juncture you just make a pencil hmm? because when sewing it, I'm going to pencil it at the end. We're just going to have to make a pencil. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead now and sew it. So guys, this is what I have after I was done sewing this, as you can see. So I, I will just have to trim this end off, as you can see. There is small excess, so I'm just going to trim it off. So it will be on the same equivalent. So guys, after trimming this off, I'm going to bring my sleigh. I already went ahead to fold the damp part firstly. Then I will just go ahead and fix it. Just go ahead and um, hold this with your pin first. Just hold the sleigh and your damp part of your skate. Hold it with your pin firstly, then take it to your sewing machine and start making a stitch. After holding this in place with my pin i am going to head over to my sewing machine and i'll start doing words fixing it so guys as you can see i'm already done fixing it and i also went ahead to iron this so guys what you see me doing like this is that i took my hip measurement and i have exactly 18 inches that is the 36 inches divided by two do you get this is it guys as you can see i went ahead to, to make my stitch this is the um back view of my skirt there is no zipper attached so guys this is it guys as you can see it's looking so beautiful this will be the end of our today's tutorial if you find this video helpful please 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 kindly subscribe i will see you guys on my next video Thank you so much for watching, may God bless you and bye bye.